Welcome buddies. In this video I'm going to show you how to use PayPal button on your Android app. First you have to create a PayPal button. Go to your PayPal and in tools tab you can go to the main tools dashboard and go to PayPal buttons dashboard. and click create new button also i'm going to start a new project on android studio app name is paypal okay find next finish okay now you have to select buy now on choose a button type and you have to enter some item name i'm going to use some name as item pro okay and you have to use uh, your currency and amount okay now go to the step tree and deselect this no no button okay everything and you have to check this take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout and this okay first uh, but let's see what's happened here when user click payment cancel button the page uh, should will be redirected to uh, this URL so we have to give some URL first you have to visit uh, your some website any kind of website and you have to copy URL don't enter manually and paste it cause uh, which uh, maybe when web browser is loading this URL, uh, maybe this some of uh, Texas symbol will be changed. So when user complete the payment, uh, the page will be redirected to another URL. So I'm going to use some fake URL. Uh, so done okay when you uh, make payment the page will be will be re redirected to this page okay okay fine now let's create this button okay now in android studio i'm going to change main layout type to relative layout and at, I'm going to add uh, some button for start uh, web view page button my parent and back content and text text make a payment okay and id button make payment okay now in java class in main java class i'm going to write private button m button okay m button equals as a button and find me by id r dot id dot button make payment okay when you also click this button uh, the web page will be uh, opened set on click listener new on click listener now we have to create a web view page new activity as empty activity make payment activity okay now I'm going to change also this layout type to relative layout. Does it matter? This is loading. Okay. Now first I'm going to add a progress bar here. And last one is web view. Fine. Okay, I'm going to add the ID for web view. M web view. Uh, we have already added 
uh, truck is by id here so i'm going to write a program private web view m web view and private progress bar and progress okay now we have to give a permissions on manifest file so users permission is internet fine now go back to your make payment activity java class and introduce your variables and web view as web view and find view by id r dot id dot web view and in progress as a progress bar and find the id as progress bar that's our id uh, so first i am going to change some web view settings first one set javascript enable as true and last one is and we will get settings that said javascript can open windows automatically as true okay fine now i'm going to set a web view client as a new web view client now here we have to enter braces now if we have to create a first method as on page started and last one is on page finished okay now we have to load the URL here. Click, uh, go back to your PayPal dashboard and go to the settings that you have created the button. Now you have to you you was copy the URL. Now I'm going to load the URL. And we will load the URL. This. Okay, fine. Now. When page is started, we have to disable view of web views. First, so I'm going to make invisible set visibility view dot gone view dot gone. Okay, and for this part should be uh, visib visible. So set visibility view dot visible. Okay, fine. Now on page finish method and web view dot set visibility as visible visible and and web view sorry uh, progress bar should be gone now and progress dot set visibility as gone okay now in on page start method i'm going to create if statement for detect uh, uses cricket uh, cancel payment button on paypal website so you are the contains uh, not equals okay okay equals fine so go back to edit your button you had to copy URLs for cancel payment button this one Okay. Fine. Now we can give a message. Payment is cancelled. Okay, and we can finish this activity. Fine. Now let's let do the other one to detect uh, user is. Uh, successful make the payment URL equals remember you can use any URL for both of them but you can't use same URL for both of text boxes because we can't detect uh, same URL for cancellation and success else if equals with successful url is this fine now let's do stuff 
you can do whatever art ever do you want to do okay that's the method you can do whatever do you want to do here okay fine and we can give a message for the for our users that is payment is success okay let's run this okay let's see oh i forget to add the start activity on our main class new intent main activity dot this and web what is our activity name name payment activity okay payment activity dot class okay let's on this It will load now. Okay, fine. What's the problem? Oh, sorry. I have to use some employees here. As the Okay, fine. Let's see by cancel the request. Okay, message is over. The payment is cancelled. So I don't want to uh, make a payment for myself. So I'm going to stop this video right now. You can test it and comment. Okay, thank you.